in the middle, you have the, the Go uh, MetaLocode platform, so generative objects. Go is generative objects. So this is the, the, the nickname of, um, of the platform to not be uh, confused with the language from Google. So the Meta platform, how it works, it's, it's using a Meta model and generation templates. So the Meta model is the way you model your application, how you describe your application, what you want to create in conceptual ways that are not depending on the technology. So for example, for um, um, classical data centric uh, application local platform, the concept would be the entities. So what are the concepts you want to integrate in your application? For example, if you create a custom relationship uh, management application, you will have the complex of customer, contract, orders. You would have connection between uh, everything. For example, a customer can be linked to many contracts, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. So this is the meta model. So we ask the user to describe what they want to create. So what are the concepts they want to manipulate? What kind of screens they want to create? What are the business rules that they want to, to, uh, to model, et cetera, et cetera. Mm, so this is yep. the way you describe your application. Uh, and the generation templates, it's how you um, transform all the, how we want the platform to transform our conceptual model to an actual working application. So it's really actually the, the blueprint of the architecture we want to generate and how from, for example, the list of entities, we will create a, a table in a database and code to access the data and et cetera, et cetera. So this is how we translate from the functional model to the, to the actual application. So for example, the core meta model of Go, it's a meta model that is used to design data centric applications, management yeah. applications. And the generation templates are targeting a, um, a, a web front end, so J, uh, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, APIs, JSON, REST APIs to connect to uh, the backend. And the backend, uh, the templates that are the core templates are for generating .NET code, uh, targeting SQL database using an ORM so that you can target any kind of SQL uh, of SQL database like SQL Server. Uh, Postgres, MySQL, etc. Yep. So, so the user will just connect to the Meta local platform, design his application, click on a button, and we'll get a generated uh, application that you can use. Yep. So that's the basic uh, principle. And what we have here is what I said to you about the self-reflexiveness of the platform. So this is still the platform. We use the platform with a meta model that represents the platform itself to generate itself. Mm -hmm. So when we want to upgrade and, and evolve the platform, it's about, uh, sorry. Um, we just open the model of the platform itself inside the platform and we regenerate it. We, we, this, we upgrade it and we regenerate it. So this is kind of this is the chicken and egg problem, but it, it took me uh, the first year of the project to actually manage to have this cycle down. So that was thought inside the platform from the beginning. Yeah, interesting. And then what is interesting here is that then we can use the also the game Go Meta local platform to actually design a local platform that we want to create because we want to to model a different kind of applications. So. Here we use the Go Meta local platform to generate uh, our own uh, local platform. Yep. So if I take an example, if you want to have a, a local platform for designing and generating surveys, something like Google Form, for example, if you want to create a Google Form from inside a data-driven um, local platform, it's, it's kind of cumbersome. It's not really designed for it. But here we can create a new uh, local platform with a new meta model that will be uh, representing surveys. So for example, the concept will not be entities and relationship between entities and forms. And it will be questions, sections, different type, type of questions and et cetera. So that we create a language, the, the meta model can be seen as a, as a language, a high level language We create a language for our end user then to be able to use this language to create surveys, for example. And here in the generation templates, we could, for example, create 
gener generation templates to target Holochain and create a distributed survey generator. So this is how we can create a full brand new local platform as, as well as for the kind of application we want to create, the, the language we want to create, and what uh, technological stack we want to generate on. That, that, that makes sense or yeah. because I, it can be a bit like, uh, and then here, then we can uh, then use our new generated local platform to create surveys, for, for instance, and give access to these to our end users. Okay, okay, okay. So the application model creates a platform which then generates. So, okay. So hmm, I'm just trying to work out maybe one thing I haven't quite grokked is the application model to the low code platform. In other words, anytime you want to create a low code application, you actually generate the platform to create the application or that platform persists and looks the same every time? No, we generate actually a full new platform. Amazing, to generate the application. Yeah, 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 okay, got it. That's, the, and that's, yeah, that's one of the big differentiators. I, I completely understand. Mm -hmm.